Welcome back. We're talking about a problem that's really complicated and quite dangerous. Kids in our town involved in crime, and it is really at an alarming rate. Could part of the solution be as simple as a field trip? One local family is convinced it is. That's the subject of tonight's Vegas Lost segment. John Trainer is here with another report on our kids and crime. Hey, we love these stories because they're given to us by you at home. A viewer saw our series and said, I know how to help. That brought us to a patch of land in Utah with Vegas roots. Yeah. Don't, they, don't they, they got you, they got you, they got you. We are in the middle of the Utah desert, watching Las Vegas kids, all at risk, all living near crime and poverty, today, living their best life. Beautiful. Hi. I got you, I got you, okay. I got you. Okay, I got you. <laughs> all right, good job. It just blows me away every, every time to see how fast they can change, you know, with hope. This is Henry's place, a free camp for those kids. This week, 15 girls. They'll live here, ride horses here, sing songs, learn how to work together. The idea, Dawn Prendes tells us, is simple. Take kids from rough, impoverished neighborhoods, put them somewhere different. Take kids from struggling or broken families and wrap them with love. And that's what, what it is. It's about showing them something they've never seen and impacting them in a way that, uh, you know, brings them hope and love. I mean, some of them just need a man to put their arm around them and give them a hug. Henry's place is Dawn's slice of heaven, a place of happiness born out of deep loss. Dawn's first husband was Metro Sergeant Henry Prendes. In 2006, he was killed while responding to a domestic violence call. A camp for at-risk youth was his dream. Henry went to camp as a kid and he his life was changed. Dawn worried that dream died with him. It was still something I was passionate about, but I was like, how are we gonna go on without Henry? He was the driving force. Instead, support grew, money came in. She met her new husband who had land outside Cedar City that he just knew he had to hold on to. Now they take middle school kids from Las Vegas community centers and bring them here for one week at a time. Only 32 kids this summer. But they want to grow. I see the need growing. I mean, the, you know, just I think about when Henry died, being the first police officer killed in Las Vegas in 18 years to where we're at now and how many more officers have been killed and the crime that is growing and just everything that's happening. These kids really need a good influence and a, and, a, and a way out. They need to know that there's hope and there's something else out there for them. All right, so one week, kids are changed. Does that promise live up to reality? You'll meet those kids on Monday with some pretty amazing results. There's a theme to your stories. If, if the right program or people can intervene in these young lives and really make an impact, it can have We a have talked to people all across and they all say, the solution is so simple. You just need to really watch these kids and show them that there's a different world out there yeah. and have them aspire to be in that world. You mentioned this program would like to expand. Yep. Any timetable for that? Well, they've been planning this since 2006. They still don't have any buildings actually built there. Progress is very slow in the desert. You're from Utah. You know yep. that yep. very well. Mm -hmm. They're still trying to build funds to do it. So their hope is another couple of years, and they'll have an actual place out there. And wow. kids want to succeed. They have it built into them. Absolutely. They want to be good and do good. A lot of people forget that, and they're giving them the opportunity to Those young do minds it. are young sponges, yeah, and when they right. see good stuff, they take it in. All right, tell that to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, John. Yeah. Do you hire out? Thanks, John. Uh, hey, in all seriousness, though, we want to hear your thoughts on our Vegas Lost series, including story ideas. Just send us an email at VegasLost on News3LB.com. Hey, in a few minutes, John will be taking your questions in a live Facebook chat. Just log on to our website or our Facebook page, KSNV News 3.